You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans, action figure collectors, looking at the third and final figure from the Obi-Wan Kenobi 3-pack uh, that was an Amazon exclusive. This time, we're looking at Ben Kenobi, Tibbetan Station. Uh, yeah, this is probably, you know, the most desired from, from the pack. For me, personally, I, I liked the Jawa. I liked the Purge Trooper. They were both great figures. Um, but yeah, Obi-Wan Kenobi, I, I, you know, Ben Kenobi, essentially, at this stage. I like the card back. A little bit of a Photoshop mock-up with the uh, sort of cave background. And yeah, very much just a repaint of the Wandering Jedi with a few extra accessories. He's got the poncho sort of thing and the backpack. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this one. I, I do really like the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and, uh, you know, I think ben, ben Kenobi at the start here really sort of you know, mirrored nicely against uh, Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. Um, sort of trying to seek their purpose once again in the galaxy and, sort of, you know, feeling quite defeated and, and lost. And, um, you know, happens to the best of us. It does. But, yeah, that being said, you know, like I said, VC257. And, uh, yeah, let's bust open Ben Kenobi and take a look. All right, we have before you here, we have Ben Kenobi, Tibbetan Station out of the packaging. Uh, yeah. We always take a look at the packaging and take a look at the accessories, paint applications, articulation, and then at the end we'll do a peg test. Um, yeah, decided not to do a comparison. It's it's just, you know, I'll, I'll leave a link at the end of the video to the Wandering Jedi um, if you want to go back and take a look at the slightly different coloured version of that, you can. I'm not going to stop you. Um, yeah, the difference with this one, um, you know, different sort of shawl, sort of cape, poncho thing whereas the other one came with the hood and he does come with his backpack which is which is beautiful accessory i love i love that about this one um other accessories lightsaber lit hilt um yeah for whatever reason i talked about this in the wandering jedi video i think it was either that or the the two pack vader one um yeah they they did something with the lightsabers they really sort of shrunk them down um it doesn't quite look very good <laughs> Um, so I'm probably going to switch this out and, you know, I've got plenty of spare Obi-Wan Kenobi hilts. Either that or this guy will just have his, um, sheathed, hidden lightsaber pocketed. Um, and I'll just have him with his backpack and just cruising around, you know, doing his thing in the desert. So yeah, like I said, we did the, uh, unlit hilt, which again, it just feels really small, like... There's parts of the hilt that are thinner than the peg. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what the design choice was there to do that. Um, I don't know. But yeah, he does have a peg there, so that's nice. Even the peg is... I don't know. No, it fits well. It's just a nice, snug, tight fit. So I think I'm just going to leave that there. Um, and yeah, just keep him with the uh with the unlit blade once i get the blaster pistol that will go in his holster again nice little piece it's just a nice sneaky little sidearm while he's in disguise as a as a farmer basically or he's a he's basically a, a meat processor <laughs> at this point so they're just working in a sort of a butcher's butcher's place uh, and the backpack looks pretty nice should just fit over the arms there's no no way to unpeg it i suppose that's sort of glued or glued together there um yeah it shouldn't be too it should be pretty straightforward to get this backpack on um so we'll do that before the videos end let's take a look we've got the uh, soft goods here which is nice as well it seems to sort of just sit on there nicely a few little stitch placings and, and stuff like that I'm just going to pop that off. That's really snug around his neck. I do like that look, though. Sort of all sort of snuggled up. So I'm just going to pop his head off for the purposes of, of doing this. 
So as you can see, pretty much get the same body as the Wandering Jedi. I don't believe there's any differences there. Fortunately, the head sculpt has been sort of topped off by that Jabim Obi-Wan that came in the two-pack with the, the damaged Vader, the final duel. Um, that head sculpt was just remarkable. Um, this one's still not bad, though. It's not terrible. I mean, we've had worse-looking Obi-Wans in the past. And he does look a little bit sort of just sort of down in the dumps, disheveled. It works. It works for the character at this point in time. But yeah, paint applications. You know, it's the head's, head's painted nicely. There's no nothing to really complain about. There's a bit of a wash in the, wash through the hair, so you get a lot of sort of dark shadows through it, which is nice. I, do, I, I just like the blue, honestly. The toss, the the blue of the outfit. I really like that look. And the sort of the simple brown trousers, the wraps around the top of the boots. I suppose walking in the desert, you'd probably get so much sand in your shoes. That'd be so frustrating. So you got to gotta wrap them up. To try and keep us... You're still going to get some in there. You know, it's coarse and rough. and gets everywhere. You're not going to be able to keep that out. <laughs> it's... But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It looks pretty good. Articulation-wise, he's got the double ball, double ball joint in the head and neck. Ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrists, and up and down on the left, and a up and down on the right. We have an upper torso joint there. We uh, there's no swivel there. No, it's sort of just locked in one place there at the, above the belt. We do have the ball and socket hips. We have the swivels at the thighs. We have a ball hinge. On the knees, ball hinge at the ankles, and a rocker in the foot. We do get some good articulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this soft goods sort of cape slash shawl slash poncho thing back on. I want to see how the sort of the backpack is sort of going to sit over that. A little bit tricky. So that kind of works. I'm going to play with it a little bit, you know, just to sort of tuck some of that stuff back through. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I'll have a little play around and see if I can get it to sit a little bit nicer, but for the purposes of my demonstration here, that will do nicely. That will do very nicely. I'm going to sort of tuck that one out. Maybe even that one. With some of those sort of folds of fabric sort of coming on the outside there. There we go. No, oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I like the look. I like the sort of the, the sort of old pilgrim look. The lightsaber in hand. I'm not going to keep it there, but uh, yeah, just for the purpose of the video. No, it doesn't even want to stay there, so it's not going to stay. All right, peg test. They got the uh, good old Kessel Run action figure stand here. Fits like a glove on that sort of medium sized peg that we have on there. Except when he does the splits and decides to wriggle around. There we go. Check that out. Very nice. Stands good. That's not going anywhere. He's not going to tip over. He's not going to fall. And get him posed up. You do some do some space aerobics out in the cad in his cave. So yeah, I like this figure. I like the Black Series version as well. 
And that just uh, rounds out my three figures from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. If you missed the three reviews I did before, you can go back and check them out. But I did uh, Jawa, Purge Trooper, and now Ben Kenobi to finish up the three pack. Again, appreciate you tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll catch up with you very soon for some more. Until then, may the Force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.